1999, I was at the University of Ghana reading political science and linguistics. There was a concept on campus called Any Work Voice. And anybody who's my age or who was on campus at the time would remember. And anywhere boys were the guys you call or you send when you need anything. If you want to wash, they wash for you. If you want to buy food, they buy for you. They were called anywhere boys. I couldn't anticipate beyond the concept of anywhere boys. But somebody else did. And what's it called today? Freelancer. There's a tool, a platform called Freelancer, where any work that you want to do, you can plug yourself in. Someone will find you and give you a job to do. Anticipation. In 1999, I created my first email address, Yahoo. Kwame AG237452. You know those, the way we need to create email addresses. I couldn't anticipate what the emails could look like. Today, it's no longer an email. It's a collaborative tool that does much, much more. Years later, I worked in Airtel when, same, when mobile money was launched. In fact, when mobile money was launched, the team was so small that the mobile money team had to beg distributors to adopt mobile money. They had to beg them. Today, distributors have to beg mobile money people. And anticipation. The gap between the anticipation and what the future of work would be is what BTEC wants to fix. They want to bridge the gap and connect young people across Africa to tech giants like Yuma, tech giants scattered all across Africa. And I believe we should be able to help them. And it will take a lot 